guys, it's me Panda, otherwise known as the Ground Panda. Welcome back to our Pirate 101 adventure. Last time, I told you guys that we reached 20,000 views, and that was amazing. So still, thank you guys so much for the incredible continuous support. And uh, here's to another 10,000. So, so hopefully we can get up to 30,000, and that will be amazing. We're probably going to get that in like another few months. Uh, so... So still, keep working on the support, and uh, hopefully we can reach uh, 30,000 views. Um, also, thank you guys for 130 subscribers. Um, you, you, you guys are just really amazing. Okay, so what happened last time? We uh, we um, we heard something about El Toro. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I have to do that every time I say that name. But anyways, we need uh, his help to gain the map. We, we actually found him uh, well, uh, during episodes, so, oh, I forgot to, like, mark a location. I am really, really, really sorry. Okay, so, right now, we're going to need his help in order to get the piece of the map from Captain Blood. I don't know why his name is Captain Blood. I think he's a vampire. Most likely certain he's probably a vampire. And there's, like, a ship loading up or something. But I'm probably guessing Captain Blood is probably a vampire. Because his name. You know, could he be a vampire? I don't know. Possible guess. But right now we're, like, looking for the Froggerals. Froggerallies. Um. And my ship name, I literally named it Shiny Mountain. Because, you know, from Wizard 101, there's a place called Shiny Mountain. One of those dungeons things. Shiny Mountain. Okay, so is there anyone here? I don't think anyone's here. What about on this ship? No, I don't see anybody on the ship. I guess I'm gonna have to go in by myself. This is usually what I do. I'm usually I'm usually in places by myself. Is there anybody using team up? I'm pretty certain nope. There's gotta be that one thing where you can like team up with others. There's that place in No Town in Wizard 101 where you can like join a team or something in like a dungeon you uh, uh, that uh, that is looking for people. Okay, so we gotta defeat these guys. Okay, well that was quick, and I also decided that I'm gonna be um keeping up with uh, Kakarius, or as or as I like to call him, Sharky. And wait, El Toro is helping us. Wait, I forgot. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. And some of you guys are really confused why I keep the chat box here. It's because it's because it keeps getting in the way to battle, so I just I just do that. I just, I just usually keep it over my, um, my health, my energy, and my, um, and my mojo potions. And also, to any witch doctors playing Power 101, um, if you're looking forward to upgrading, um, Sharky here, or Kakarius, as you would call him, um, you don't have to do a quest to upgrade him. There's basically, you can pay one, uh, you can pay, a, uh, like, nearly 20,000 gold to, um, you know, get him that, uh, to get him that much. So... That's pretty awesome. You don't have to do a quest or anything, but you do have to waste some gold to upgrade Kakarius into a Boker. I don't know how to pronounce it. Boker. Boker. Uh, I think it's a Boker. And Kampel is doing really good at his fighting skills. Like seriously, Kampel, have you been have you been practicing while I've been gone? Has Kevin Powell been practicing since Scarlet's been gone? Well, I know I'm in, like, Scarlet's head and something, but, like, I guess he must have been, uh, training while I've been gone. 
And he's still not good with dots, though. I need to get him to that. Oh, El Toro's good to dodge. Whoa! El Toro really needs to come with us. That would be really good, though. That would be seriously good if El Toro joined our crew. Oh, also, I got this mojo blade. I'm gonna try to get near an enemy and uh, hit it. I'm gonna hit the uh, enemy with um, my mojo blade tool thing. It's gonna be awesome, ain't it? Hey, I didn't even do anything. You have to be kidding me right now. And also, my pet just like, entered while training again. Yep. And also, it's like um, Pirate 101's third birthday. I know there's like a Karma Chameleon pet, but I really don't want it. The ostrich is is really is really useful. Uh, my ostrich does this karate kick thing. It seriously does. And I'm like really surprised that it does this kind of sort of attack thing. So here we go. I'm gonna mojo blade this guy up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks so cool! And plus, it's a red glowing blade, so that's more awesome. my friend. Yeah, buddy, El Toro. Yeah, and he also does that move, which is some kind of a peck move. I think it's like Pokemon move. What if my pet was actually a Pokemon? Plot twist! The way is open. Go in. I will meet you in the courtyard. Okay. We must try quickly. We'll split up. You will go to the barracks tower and sabotage their honor. Wait a minute. I shall hunt Santa Rana in his palace. He looks as You look very familiar. Oh, hello there. Nice meeting you. Okay, why are all these like musketeers and stuff? This is this is seriously getting ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, keep talking like I'm a fourth nigga. This amazing other attack. Oh no, not the Armada, not this again. It's like Valencia. Not the Armada. No, 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 not this. Not this again. Anything but that. Again. Sorry. 
Oh no. Boom. Shaka laka laka. Destroy gunpowder. Then we warn El Toro. Alright. <coughs> and last one right here. No, you don't. The balance? At last, after years of humiliation, our vendetta ends, and I learn your name. Remove his mask. Indeed. Our long dance ends today, Santa Rana. For you. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> won't you? There is something you should know. I have not come alone. You're bluffing. No one can see you now. El Toro always works. Um, ahem. Not today. <laughs> Young pirate, attack. Here we go. Is this going to be one of those boss battles? Where you can, yeah. Yeah, this is an epic battle. Okay, so, I'm going to have my new, uh, lawman guy. So all we have to defeat is Santorana, and he's, dang it, we gotta get, like, really close to him. This should be like close enough. I don't know why there's so much lag here. It's probably because of the um, so much stuff in this battle here. Oh my gosh, Kampo! my mojo blade on him. Well, and that's the end for him. <laughs> okay, there's like more treasure chests. There's like chests everywhere. Where are they? There they are. Farewell for now, but mark my words. I shall have my revenge. Well then, now what? History was made today, my friend. And you were a part of it. 
not the greatest part, of course, <laughs> but an important part nonetheless. <laughs> when the people of Santa Boyo sing songs of this day years from now, they will praise the name of the pirate who helped El Doro Tapos. <laughs> I would oh, there love we to go. talk to you about Captain Blood. But first... Seriously? We must spread the good news. Take this letter to Don Rodrigo in his banquet hall. I... Er, he. That oh. is to say, I am sure he will reward you. Uh, okay. So, uh, that was weird. That was weird to see. He like vanished right before my eyes. Like, what the heck? And plus, he does look a little bit familiar. Wait a minute. He's in here? This is a little bit off. This is getting kind of strange. Like. El Doro has sent you with good news. I see it in your eyes. Santa Rana is defeated. It warms my heart to know that even tyrants are no match for the strength and cleverness of El Toro. You sound like course. him, kind of. Don Rodrigo, I might have known I'd find you at the root of this rebellion. You will pay dearly for your treason. Attack! Oh great, he's came back. He's came back for more, hasn't he? I gotta get near um, Santa Rana. At his turn. That's awesome.
Okay, here we go. Mojo Blade. Mojo Blade. Oh my god, that still looks super cool. Blade. And the only one left is Santa Rana. Get over here, you little rascal. Dang it. Yeah! And now, Don, you pretty much got some explaining to do. And so, my great secret is ready. Yes, my young friend. I am El Dor. Still. Nothing. I know. There is no shame in that. At last, we can discuss what brought you to Santa Boyo. Yes, please. Oh, now open up. You seek a map, and you think Captain Blood has it in his lair. You come to me to learn where his lair is. Yes. I fear I have nothing to tell you. What? You see, I have not always worn the mask of El Toro. <laughs> Don Rafael de la Vega, my adopted father, trained me and handed the mask down to me years ago. He defeated Captain Blood. If anyone knows where Blood would have hidden this map you seek, it would be he. Sadly, he is dead. But my mentor had a sidekick. <laughs> a bison named Donka. Talk to Eagle Caller in the bison village. He may know how to find Donka. Alrighty. So I'm going to end the episode here. So right now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I have a bison to find. So, right now, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, if you did enjoy this episode, then be sure to high-five that like button, and I will still have you party animals in the next video.